Hello, this is Dr. Patrick Porter, and welcome back to the BrainTap Business Journal podcast. And I have a special guest with me today. A few years back, we did a podcast with Dr. Duresti, but I want to welcome William Duresti back. He's the uh, founder of Cranial Release Technique, and he's been training our doctors for Geez, I guess I've known you for over 10 years, since way back to the Carl Parker days. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Dresty, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Patrick. I was actually thinking about that. Yeah, it's probably been, uh, I guess I probably met you around 1999, maybe 2000 out in Las Vegas. And yes, and uh, it's been a long time. And I remember that was probably, I don't know if that was your first generation brain tap that you had or your, your your mind fit back then, but uh, things have come a long way and I'm very, very happy for your success and continued success to you and all of your students and your practitioners. Well, thank you. And I knew right away that what you were offering our practitioners, which uh, in your case could be chiropractors, could be massage therapists. Is there anyone else out there, the PTs, who's using cranial release technique just as we kind of set the framework for our conversation today? Right, <coughs> excuse me. Well, being a chiropractor myself, uh, cranial release was a perfect add-on to any chiropractic practice. And then for whatever reason, and I'm still not really sure why, a lot of chiropractors sort of shy away from when they hear the word cranial. And I think it's because most cranial techniques are very time consuming, very complicated, and sometimes not the easiest to apply for the practitioner or to receive from the patient standpoint. My wife at the time was going to the Swedish Institute of Massage Therapy in Manhattan in New York City, and she was being taught craniosacral therapy, which is very different from cranial release, but all the massage therapists were very open to the cranial concept. And what I found, strangely enough, was that they were very interested in the cranial release technique, which as we'll probably talk about later on down in the show is a one minute technique. And, and that's something that they were very excited about. So to get back to your original question, chiropractors, massage therapists, physical therapists, virtually any licensed practitioner that can touch a patient. Now there's, before we got on today, I was actually thinking, and I was gonna ask you a question. I don't know if you have uh, explored the concept of dentists at all in in using the mind fit or the the, the, the brain tap uh, because dentists are another whole profession that if I could somehow get in front of them and explain cranial release there's a there would be a huge dental application for CRT and I could imagine the brain tap would fit into their practice as well but that maybe we'll talk about that on another talk Okay. Yes, indeed, we do see a lot of dentists using brain tap because we have a series for that. And they actually, uh, on our Facebook page, you can see Dr. Memo, who's going to be at our event in, in March, on March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. He's a doctor from uh, Mexico, and he shows a dental procedure while they're wearing the brain tap. So, yeah, we, we definitely need to get you involved. We're, we're in most of the dental magazines because uh, one of the, the founding members of those magazines actually promotes brain tap through the dental market. So let's talk Great. about cranial release technique. Great. Exactly. I mean, how is this one minute process work and, and really what is cranial release? So people understand the importance of the these uh, cranial bones. Right. Well, to make a long story very short, uh, there are 22 bones that make up the head that we call the skull or the cranium. It was about 100 years ago when an American osteopath first discovered that due to the, and if anyone's ever looked at a, at a cranium, either a real one or either, even some of the plastic ones now are pretty well made, you'll see that the beveled edges of all the cranial bones, sort of like hinges on a door, are present. and as you and I both know, there's no spare parts in the body. So there must be a reason for these beveled edges of the cranial bones. And it was Dr. Sutherland who first pondered the fact that, gee, maybe these bones are designed this way to allow for movement. And so he started to experiment way back when, and lo and behold, cranial work was born. So fast forward to today, the cranial release technique is a one minute procedure. It's a hands-on procedure. The patient's typically on their back, but it could be done seated. And there are other variations to the technique. 
There is a, a very specific way that uh, a cranial release practitioner can apply a little bit of a pressure and to sort of help the body to open and align these 22 cranial bones with the purpose of restoring the normal motion. It's, it's almost as if you had a door, not the best analogy, but a, one that probably everyone has dealt with, is if you had a door with rusted hinges on it and you put some oil or WD-40 and sort of work the door back or forth, you can restore the normal motion. And that's the point of the cranial release technique, to restore the cranial motion. And the point of doing that is that then optimizes central nervous system function. So I attended a lecture as a chiropractor since 1985. I was out doing sort of traditional, what we would call traditional osseous adjusting chiropractic. And about 13 years after practice, I attended a seminar. And in that seminar, the professor was speaking, saying, you know, virtually 80% of the nervous system resides in the skull. And there, there I am scratching my head saying, now, wait a minute. If my job as a chiropractor is to optimize central nervous system function, and I'm working from C1 down, the first bone in the neck down, the atlas, that I'm really missing the 80% of the central nervous system. And that's what led me into cranial concepts, which then eventually evolved into the cranial release technique. So the long and short of it is, it's a one minute technique that optimizes function throughout the body, whether we talk about the, the psychological system, the endocrine system, the musculoskeletal system, the digestive system, we can go on and on and on sports performance, anything and everything you could think of, which is controlled by the central nervous system, which is everything, is enhanced by CRT or the cranial release technique. So even just to get on this call this morning, my wife, who is a massage therapist and also a cranial release practitioner, administered a CRT to me just so I could be at my, my best when I'm on this call. And that's that's what this is all about. It's optimizing function for everyone in every capacity of their life. And that's it in a nutshell. That's great. Well, I know that you could speak about this for literally days because you have to <laughs> at last that. Right. And, right. and people don't have to go to you now. You've actually modified this and put a website together where they can actually go online if they're knowledgeable about these kind of things. They can go to cranialrelease.com and they can start learning even today. But of, of course, we're trying to talk you into coming to our event in March with the, the Brain Tap Business Summit because we found early on when you were talking that if somebody has a concussion and most of us have had these concussions, we just don't know about it, but our, our cranial bones are kind of jacked up and they're not right. moving. So for those practitioners that aren't aware of this, this kind of feature that happens in the body, uh, what happens if the brain isn't moving for long periods of time or they get in a car accident or they've had a trauma and they're not getting this uh, spinal fluid moving up and down the spine? What happens? Right. Well, it's it's not that the brain is not moving, although there is some truth to that statement. The brain, the, the brain is moving as well as the cranial bones, but everything in my mind is secondary to that cranial bone movement. So assuming, and, and let's say I've been, I don't know how many seminars you and I have been to and how many attendees we've, we've looked at, whether with my work or your work, I've yet to meet anyone on the planet that when I do a very quick evaluation, I would say that their bones are in an optimized state. It's just this constant chronic stress that we are all under every day that causes these cranial bones to shift and sort of become restricted in their movement. When that happens, the spine will misalign to adapt for a distorted cranium. So uh, you're twisting my arm to come in March. And if I do come in March, anyone that comes up to me in the booth, the first thing I'll do is I'll probably look at them and I'll, I'll have them either look in a mirror with me or, or I'll just discuss that if you just look in a mirror, anyone that's listening to this, either while you know you pause the video or the, the audio and take a look or after we're done, you'll probably notice that one eye appears to be smaller than the other you'll notice that one eye appears to be lower than the other. Actual osseous physical 
distortion. You'll notice one ear is different from right to left. All that tells me is that the cranium is distorted, which probably began, we can go way back to the birth process and all the little traumas that we've had up until today. And so virtually everyone is living with this distorted cranium. And the beauty from my standpoint is that virtually everyone that gets on the table improves. Now, what does that really mean? Everyone is more or less in tune with their body, some more than others. But people report things like, I can breathe better, I feel better, I sleep better. That pain that's been there for years is, is kind of melting away. All these different symptoms or, or complaints that people have had, in my opinion, 99.9 .9 of them are related to this distorted cranium. So if we can do something to balance the cranium, I'll use that word to make it very simple, balance the cranium, balance the brain and nervous system, then you want to take it to the next level, like I tell all my practitioners, then they apply your technology. Now, as and this is the, this is the, the, the phrase that you always coined, you know, your technology is great at changing the software, but my technology is great at changing the hardware. So if we do both, now we're really talking about optimized performance in everything, whether that's your ability to perform as a salesperson on the job, to the way you hit a baseball, to the way you express your emotions to your spouse, to, to it, the list goes on and on and on. So in my opinion, everyone on the planet would benefit from cranial release and likewise would benefit from brain tap as well. So that's, that's, that's the mission that I think we're both on here. Right. And we believe at brain tap that if you can do this type of adjustment or manipulation so that the skull is breathing again or moving, mm -hmm. or these, these hinges are back being flexible, yes. that it's only going to get better. Things are going to get better. So if we, if you're not using some type of adjustment like the cranial release technique, if you've never trained with someone like Dr. Duresti, then I encourage you to reach out, go to his website, figure out if this is something you want to learn. It's simple. Uh, once you learn the technique, it's kind of like anything. A, a person walked up to Picasso on a bridge once and said, draw a picture of me. And so he did. And he said, how much do I owe you? And Picasso said 15,000 pounds. And he said, it only took you five minutes. And he said, <laughs> no, my, no, my dear, it took me my whole life. So that's you know, it. Exactly. So it's kind of the same thing here is, you know, you know where to, you know, make the adjustment. You've been doing this for right. years. I mean, I've met literally hundreds of your practitioners over the years, whether they be right. at the massage therapy conferences we've been to or chiropractic conventions we've been to. And it seems like it's a great tool to have in their tool bag. So why should other practitioners consider learning about this? Right. Well, I just want to make one comment that you, you, and it's a, it's, it's a, it's something that I hear all the time and that's the word adjustment. And although in the chiropractic world, obviously that's a, that's a word that we're very comfortable with, but if you're sitting there and you're a non chiropractor listening to this, I would like to say that the word I use for this work is called a correction and it's different than the word adjustment and it's, it's, more than one thing, and that's I get into the at, at my courses as well about that. But don't think because you hear the word adjustment and you're not a chiropractor that you can't do this. I know we covered that in the beginning. So, but the, the word adjustment does fit. But I like the word correction as a better word. But that be that we'll put that to the side. So why should a practitioner from any walk of life? I mean, I've had psychologists that have come to me and said, I would love to learn this because I see my patients that are seeing you tell me their anxiety is better, their depression is better. But the problem the psychologist has is, is by law, he cannot touch a patient. So he or she technically can't learn the work. Mm -hmm. So why would a practitioner want to add this to their, their bag of tricks? Well, regardless of what the initials are at the end of your name, be it chiropractor, osteopath, MD, dentist, massage therapist, fill in the blanks. This will enhance everything else that you're doing. And what most, the chiropractors, especially the ones, you know, that I've known over the years, what they tell me is, you know, in the beginning, they were doing their typical adjustments and then adding the CRT. And then what they found is 
when they would do the CRT, the better they got as their skill level improved in the CRT. What they noticed is the need for other types of adjustments and other things that they were doing was decreasing. And the beauty of this work, and if again, I, I know you're twisting my arm to come March one to three, and I, 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 I would say I'm pretty close to being there, Patrick. I just got to speak to the boss in a minute. Okay. You know who that is, my wife. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, from start to finish, I can evaluate, apply the CRT, and reevaluate someone in a minute or two. I mean, so it's a very quick, very powerful way. To enhance physiology of your patients, and then, fine, do the vitamins, do the acupuncture, do the muscle stretching, do the massage, do the adjustment, do the do the brain tap, do everything else that you're doing, but sort of clear the nervous system first. I mean, that to me just makes perfect sense. Clear the cranium, clear the nervous system, balance the nervous system, balance the body. And then reevaluate and see what else you have to do. Then put them on the brain tap, and I think you have the one-two combination that's going to take you to a whole new level of practice. If that's what you want, you know, if, if you're if you're looking for that, then this is for you. And as you mentioned before, all they have to do is go to my website, craniorelease.com. There's a button there that says online training. That will take you to a separate site. And you can watch some videos there, and you can register. And before I forget, Patrick. I know we discussed this. If anyone who listens to this, one of your students or your practitioners, is interested, if they if they go to that website and they type in the word brain tap in the promo code, they'll get a hundred dollar discount on the program. So I wanted to give that to all your students, so uh, we can we can hopefully get more people doing cranial release. It's a great way, you know. And I'm going to take this video, this audio, and we're done. And I'm going to send it out to my people. Because obviously, everyone that's listening to this that's not using BrainTap, please explore that Bra- BrainTapTech.com. Is your website? Yeah, it's just BrainTap.com. BrainTap.com. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm sorry about. That. We have both both sites. It'll go to them, but okay, the easiest great. one is just BrainTap.com. Okay, perfect. So when when people are using this, we know over the years we've used for those practitioners out there that are brain tappers that have the HRV system that we've been using for years. Back about six years ago, when we introduced that, we started doing some cranial release programs. Then having them do brain tap afterwards, we found that it really accelerated the results by putting people into that parasympathetic mode for healing, readjusting their uh, central nervous system. So we have different things like that. So when you think about CRT in people dealing with stress, because obviously that's a big thing for the brain tap practitioner. Mm-hmm. How does CRT help people deal with stress? Right. As your, as some of your students probably know, and it's just interesting this morning, and I'm sure most of the people that are going to listen to this probably follow Dr. Joseph Mercola and his website and his newsletters. And just this morning, they were talking about the the stressful effects to the nervous system of EMF, electromagnetic frequency stress, the cell phones, the Wi-Fi. All the uh, all this electronic, this new electronic pollution stress that we're under. So, be it physical stress, chemical stress, emotional stress, or the new player on the game, EMF stress. All this tends to cause an imbalance to the brain, causes the body to shift to a sympathetic fight or flight nervous system. And as you mentioned just a few minutes ago, healing is now. Healing really can't take place, according to Dr. Hans Selye. So the beauty of the cranial release technique, and now with the technology like the HRV and some of the other devices out there, the beauty is you could put someone on the table. You've evaluated them. You can see they're sympathetic dominant. You apply the cranial release. You shift them back to parasympathetic. They get off the table different. They get off the table back in a neurological balance where healing can occur. Then they'll sleep that night, and I usually like to speak to people the day after a CRT because what you'll typically hear, although they'll get off the table and say, "Oh my God, how could I feel all these changes from a one-minute technique?" And it's just like if you laid out a thousand dominoes and you hit the first one just right, down go the other nine ninety-nine. But then typically they'll respond that they slept very good that night, and of course. 
sleep and sleep deprivation is a big problem in the world today, all secondary to stress. So as, as the world seems to be moving faster and faster and technology moves faster and faster, our bodies are always in a race and our minds are trying to catch up with what's happening and we're stuck in this fight or flight mechanism and there's really no way to get out of it that I'm aware of other than doing some sorts of therapies or different techniques that maybe are out there. But I can tell you for sure, CRT in one minute will shift the brain from a sympathetic to a parasympathetic state. And that's, that is a wonderful benefit. And that is, if people are out there that are listening to this and these, your audience who is, who and I'm singing to the choir, I know this is what they're looking for. Then I would strongly consider I would hope, I would suggest that they consider looking into CRT. I think it's a perfect combination with the mind fit. Yeah, so that's going to uh, cranialrelease.com. You can just go there and start checking it out. Put in the put in the promo code BRAINTAP to receive your $100 discount. Yep. Now, for, for those practitioners out there wondering, gosh, can you make money with cranial release technique? Well, we'll let Dr. Bill talk about that in just a moment, but I do know that you can put together protocols where you can use CRT as the adjustment and then do the brain tap afterwards. So they're in your, you, they could be in your clinic. We have the neurologically based chiropractic series, which works really well with CRT, but we also have over 800 other different sessions. So you could package this together with all sorts of different things because we also show CRT adjustment actually increases metabolism as well. So for those people, because when the nervous system's on board, so you can put together these different packages using CRT, but let's do, I know I've met a few of your practitioners that are, basically knocking out of the park because they're using CRT and they're able to get better results uh, in quicker period of time and then provide their uh, their patients or clients with better uh, resources afterwards. I mean, they're using the CRT as their kind of their entry level and then they have all the other things part of their uh, practitioner packet. So tell us a little bit about what a practitioner can earn using CRT. Well, when I... <laughs> I mean, you can, you, you can take this as far as you want. I mean, I, when I basically retired from practice, full active practice and, and decided to teach full time because I was doing both. Uh, and I was in Flushing in Queens, New York city. I mean, I was seeing hundred to 125 visits a day and that was doing CRT only. So, you know, if you're only spending a few minutes and again, that, that may, uh, that's not, that's not ego talking. That's just what can be done if you wanted to do it. Now I was doing CRT only. If, if I knew back then what I know now, I would probably have them go to the room next door and then they would all sit on the, on the, the brain tap. I mean, I, I've been to Dr. Naputi's office and I see what he's done, what he's doing with CRT and, uh, and brain tap. But <clears throat> yeah, you, you, you could take this anywhere you want, but something that you just touched on Patrick was how you know, the patient would come in, typically, the, the, the typical patient would come in complaining of X, Y, or Z. I would start them with the CRT from, from the CRT standpoint. And then as they improved, they would go on to whatever word you like, wellness, maintenance, whatever, with a cranial release back up to, to, you know, have them come in, check to see how often they need a CRT. And how do I check on that? That's all in those videos in the package. And that's all about determining how well a patient's body deals with stress. And so there's some people that maybe weekly they need CRT. There's people that maybe every monthly need CRT, depending. You know, if you're way out in, uh, in the Midwest and you're, you know, you live a natural lifestyle as opposed to, you know, the corporate lawyer in, in Manhattan who's getting screamed at and yelled and pushing in the subway every day, you know, everyone handles stress differently. So it's a, it's a perfect add on to anything that you're currently doing with the option from a, from a hands-on standpoint that it could be your only tool in the toolbox if you decide to go that way. I'm not saying you have to. So you have options and then of course to back it up with the brain tap. So. There's all different ways. I mean, I have practitioners that use it with acupuncture, that use it with nutrition, that use it with deep tissue massage, that use it with other cranial techniques. The people in the, the, the athletic performance field are telling me 
I have two practitioners that work on college football players that tell me since they're doing CRT, the recovery from uh, concussions is just incredible. They, they've never seen anything like this. But remember, if the cranium is distorted and then you get into a car accident or then you get into a football injury or then you just have a lot of stress at work, the likelihood of other things sort of short circuiting is amplified. So why not educate people about the advantages of coming in for cranial release on a regular basis, not because they have symptoms or don't have symptoms, but because we want to optimize function. That's what this is all about. And again, it's a perfect one-two combination with the brain tap. Perfect. Well, I, I appreciate you being on the call. And again, go to cranialrelease.com. Come to the event because even if Dr. Duresti isn't able to make it, there will be practitioners there <laughs> and we'll make sure that you can learn about cranial release. I talk about it in every talk I give uh, around the country because if you're not doing something for these the cranium, then it could be locked. I mean, we need to unlock that. We need to get it moving the way it was intended to be moved, get the innate intelligence back working, get them into parasympathetic. And uh, Dr. Duresti, again, thank you for being on the call, wealth of information. I know that you'd be a welcome uh, to our Sunday morning protocols, where we're actually gonna show people how they do this in their business and practice. And you've been doing this for years, so I'm sure that our practitioners would love having you there. Well, great, Patrick. That sounds that sounds like a wonderful invitation. And again, on, on my website is my email and my phone number. So if anyone has any specific questions that maybe we didn't cover today, feel free to call me. I'm the guy who picks up my phone and uh, just tell, you know, just mention that you heard this podcast uh, with Patrick Porter and, you know, or even whatever. And I'm just happy to, to discuss anything about cranial release, any questions you might have. If you still need some answers about considering if this is right for you or not, feel free to call me and I'm happy to talk with you. But thank you, Patrick, for the invitation for today and thank you for the, uh, the summit that's coming up between March 1 and 3. And I'm gonna do my best to, to get there. Thank you. And those listening that haven't scheduled their flights or booked their reservations to the BrainTap uh, summit this year in 2019. It's going to be on March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in Raleigh. You can check that out at braintaptech.com forward slash summit dash 2019 or call our office at 302-721-6677 and they'll get you all the information so you can be there. You don't have to be a practitioner of BrainTap right now. You can come learn all about it. We're going to have some of our top docs there. Uh, some of our research partners from Brazil, from India, from the United States, they're going to be there sharing what actually happens physiologically through scientific experimentation and development with the brain tap and how that works with other practitioners as well. So love to have you there, Dr. Bill and your wife. You can both come. Her smiling face is always welcome at an event. So <laughs> we'll we'll have you have you guys there and uh, you know, it's going to be a great time for all. It's a three-day action-packed event. We're actually during the main two days, it's going to be more like a TED Talk because we have so many practitioners sharing their best case scenarios, how they're using BrainTap in their practice, what they're doing. And then on Sunday, which is where you would come in is Protocol Sunday, where we actually show people how to use some type of technique like the cranial release technique and then using the BrainTap with it. So love to have you there. Great. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for the invitation. And uh, I wish all your practitioners the ultimate success in all that they do. All right. Thank you. And please tune in again for BrainTap Business Journal. Subscribe to the podcast. There's exciting news. In the next three or four weeks, we're going to be sharing with you 10 to 15 minutes of the best of what's happening in March at the Business Summit. So welcome you all. Please Come join us in Raleigh. We have our 1,800 practitioners that best of the best will be there. So be one of those and achieve your goals for the year of 2019. So take care. Talk to you soon, Dr. Bill. Thank you, Patrick. All the best to you and your family.